coffee break with me. Woo! Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. How are you today? Today I'm very excited because it's our two year anniversary week. So we have a lot of really interesting, really special, really exciting things planned for you for this week. So if you're not a big reader, I suggest you become one. It might benefit you in some way or another perhaps in the form of a gift. Anyway, so today I'm super excited because I am here with a, a haul, unboxing, try on, slash review, slash whatever, of the new MAC wash and dry collection. The collection that looks like this that everyone's going bananas over. I call it the MAC Bear Trap collection. So I am not wearing a lot of makeup today because I want to apply some of these things on camera so you can see how they function and also um, to kind of give you my thoughts on them so you can see how they perform and you know a mini review slash haul slash what I just mentioned already. So this collection just launched. Um, today you're seeing this on Monday. It came out last Thursday. Today is Monday, so if you wanted to find this collection, today is your day to buy it online from places like Macy's or Nordstrom. After maybe a couple of days online there, it's going to be found at freestanding counters and Mac stores. So freestanding counters, that you know what I'm saying. So this collection is the wash and dry collection. Uh, there were sneak peeks of this collection since like a year ago and everyone went bananas. Why? Because of the packaging. I don't know why everyone goes bonkers over MAC packaging. And I'm not criticizing them because I do too. It's the MAC rabbit hole. It's like the MAC packaging rabbit hole trap. It's a trap basically. Um, MAC has gone to the point where it's so trendy it's so popular that they could put a stick of poo in a lipstick bullet with fancy packaging and all of us would go and buy it. It's it's basic, it's just a gimmick. It's a really a pretty gimmick that gets us every single time. And what I've noticed is uh, they stepped up their game in packaging a couple years ago, but the products were still really planned out and there was a lot of thought behind them. Now it's almost like they're like re-promote or repackaging and you know it's a permanent item and fancy packaging and yet we still get it. Um, I'm going to show you guys kind of what I'm talking about when I get to the blushes because that kind of annoyed me a little bit. And you know here at Coffee Break Headquarters we keep it real, we keep it honest. I bought all these products myself. Um, in fact my friend um, Jess from Love for Lacquer, uh, major blog, I'll link it down below. Um, she's my Mac alarm. Anytime there's going to be a really big collection, she will text me as soon as the collection goes live and we over shop on things that we probably already have in our collection because that's what Mac does to us. So let's just go ahead and get started. The first thing that I want to show you are the blushes so that I could put one on because I don't like how I look without blush. Blush is the thing I look mo most forward to, to putting on. So I got both of the blushes in the collection. This is what the packaging looks like, like the exterior box packaging. I mean, it's it's breathtaking, right? And whenever there is turquoise involved in something, I just, I have to get it. Like when the Alluring Aquatics collection came out, don't get me started. Um, so that's what the box looks like. There are two blushes in the collection. One of them is a satin and it's called Crisp White. And the other one is called Hypnist and it's a frost. I don't know how frosty it actually is because once you swatch it on everything, it, it really doesn't. It's really not frosty at all, I don't think. So this is the peach one, it's called Crisp Whites, and this is the pink one. I prefer, I don't know which one I want, I kinda wanna wear this one because it's deeper, but I wanna wear this one to prove a point. Let's see, which one should I wear? I'm gonna go ahead and apply Hypnus, the pink one, because it has a little bit more color to it, and since I have kind of a neutral look, we wanna step it up. So we're gonna apply this one, and I'm gonna use last year's Alluring Aquatic MAC brush. This is the 127 and it's a split fiber brush. You see that? Uh, so let's just put the sucker on. I haven't actually tried it. I swatched it, but I haven't, I haven't put it on. So we'll see how this looks. Ooh, that's really silky. Look at how easy it goes on. We overdid it a little bit there, huh? I can never stop putting on blush. Okay, so that is Hypnus. Hypnus? 
Hypnus. It's the Frost and it's the pink one in the collection. And then this one is Crisp White's The Peach. Um, okay. If you missed out on the Archie's Girl Peach Blush in Cream Soda and you were like, oh my god, I'm so sad. I wish I had never missed it. Don't worry, because it's the same color, basically. Or if you have Immortal Flower in your collection, which was a limited edition that became permanent in your collection, if you already have it and you don't want to shell out the money for this one or you don't care about packaging or this one sells out and you wanted to get it, just get Immortal Flower because all of these three are the same color. They're all satin and they're all really pale peach, basically. Thanks, Mac. Now I have three. Yeah. Since I just showed you my Alluring Aquatics 127 Split Fiber Brush, I also want to show you the brush that I got from this collection, which is the same concept, except it's like a monster one. This is the MAC 126, and it's also a split fiber brush. And the reason for this brush is it has synthetic on one side, um, natural fibers on the other. It's for cream products versus powder products. Um, but you can see the substantial size difference. Let's see, it's like mommy and baby. So the handles are just a teeny bit longer, but it's the same concept. But doesn't it look like they belong together now? Like, like they're a set? Okay, I should stop. This is why I overshot. Stop, Danny. So that is that, and it's like almost $50. It's pretty expensive. Um, the other product that I got was this guy, and this is probably the item that sold out the quickest, I would say. And this is the highlight powder in Freshen Up. It comes in, of course, the really pretty packaging. Now, don't be misled. The packaging is gorgeous but it's really cheap. It almost feels slightly bit cheaper than regular MAC packaging. I don't know if it's because of the shiny finish, but okay, so this is what the product looks like. Let me show you guys a little bit closer. So you can see it, it's really pretty. I mean, it's breathtaking. It has, it's like a three color gradient. It has a really light gold, a peach, and then a darker peach or coral at the bottom. You see that? And I don't know if you guys can tell, but do you see this little spot right here? It has a gold overspray. So if I were to take a brush right now, in fact, let me get one. If I were to take a brush and I swirl it in this product, I would remove the overspray, the gold overspray, and that would be my highlight. It's a really beautiful gold highlight. If you get through the overspray, then you're actually down to the powder. And the powder itself is highlighting, but it's highlighting for someone with medium to deep skin tone because it is a pretty dark color. I don't know if you guys can see that on my skin. So it would almost suffice as a shimmery blush for those of you that have light to fair, I would say even like a light medium to fair skin tone. So this, so this product basically has a really beautiful gold overspray. Once you get through it, you can see it's just powder. It's, it's a little bit of a shimmery powder, but not very much. I mean, it's, it's, almost like a satin, like a satin with a little bit of shimmer powder. This is just my humble opinion. I know a lot of you are really gonna like this product, but honestly, it's it's prettier, it looks prettier than it actually is. So as a highlight, it's pretty dark. Can you guys tell? I mean, it's you could see the line right here where I applied it. It's pretty intense. It's, I think I said it's pretty light. It's pretty dark. So I, I, I would see myself struggling using this as a highlighter. I would love to use it as a blush. In fact, where is my brush? So I'm just going to take a little bit of this and swirl it in with my MAC uh, brush. And I'm going to put this on top. And you can tell that it just peaches, it just peaches, peaches it up. Makes it a little peach. This is basically a blush for those of you that have light to fair skin tones. Um, it's not pretty anymore, can you tell? I mean, the overspray is gone. So if you were looking for like a really shimmery, beautiful highlight, that's probably not good for that. It's, it's, it'll be a really good blush for someone with light skin tone or 
someone who's light complected or even fair fair complected so that for me was a big weren't weren't next products that i got were the nail polishes and i have always been a huge fan of mac nail polish the formula is great it's one of those really thick nail polishes but even though it's thick it dries really fast, it's fully opaque, and if you're in a hurry, you could really get away with doing just one coat. I got both of the colors um, because I got really excited when I saw them on the website, but don't be fooled because when they arrive, they're a lot darker. I thought it was going to be kind of like a cobalt blue and a light teal or turquoise, but they're really dark. I mean, I wanna say it's almost borderline navy blue, and I mean, you could see this, I'm wearing this one on my nails right now. So it's pretty dark. It's a pretty dark uh, teal or turquoise. I didn't try this one on because this one's just really dark. It's just, it's navy blue basically. So I like it and the packaging is cute, but um, I'm pretty sure you could find these colors in like Wet n Wild for like $2 basically. <laughs> and then I also got uh, two lipsticks. Uh, there are four lipsticks in the collection. There are two that are permanent. They're just in fancy packaging. And then there are two that are limited edition. I did not get either of the nudes because creme de nude looks atrocious on me. And the other one is a luster. And I don't like MAC luster lipsticks. They, they're, uh, they're horrible in my opinion. So many people really like them. I don't like them. So I got the two others, which are Morange, Morange and Steam Heat. Again, this is the the paper packaging. This is what the bullet looks like. And if you are big fans of MAC, you already know what Morange, why do I say Morange? I wanna say it like, in, like with a French accent. It's, it's Morange, right? Or is it Morange? Am I having a moment here? Let's just say the orange color. It is permanent, um, but if you want it in this fancy packaging for like $3 more, you can get it. It didn't sell out, I don't think. Um, and this is just a really pretty orange. This is not your neighborhood friendly orange. Like if, if you don't like bright lipsticks, you probably don't want this one, but I really, really like it. And this is an amplified. So with amplified lipsticks, it's basically like all pigment. It's intense. And then the other one that I got is a satin and it's called Steam Heat. This is a red. It's almost like, um, it's a warm red. It looks a little bit like a Crayola crayon with a tiny bit of raspberry in it. Let's put it on. And I don't have any lip liner on, so I hope I don't make a big mess. We're gonna try this on together. Where's my powder brush? I always put powder on my lips to make sure that my lipstick sticks really well. So let's see how this looks. This is a satin. It's really nice, the formula. That's what it looks like. I kind of like that. It's really pretty. And I'm a huge fan of MAC Satin Finish lipsticks. It's, I don't want to call them satin. I almost feel like they're creamy mattes. You know what I mean? Like that's, if you, if you're wondering what the satin formula is like, it's like a really creamy matte lipstick. So that is Steam Heat. And then the last two products that I got in the collection were two lip glosses. And again, there were four shades. One that is um, like a pearl, it's almost like a whitish pearl one, which, I mean, you would probably use it to mix into colors. Then there is a pink that looks red, but it swatches pink. And then there were these two, which I feel are the complementary lip glosses to the two lipsticks that I got. I got Laundry List and Hot and Cold. And again, these are limited edition to the collection. These are not repromotes. So I got the red and the orange. I thought it would be really great to put on top of the lipsticks that I got. So I'm not gonna go too crazy because when I do a red lip with gloss on top, Lord have mercy. So let me swatch the red one. It's right there. That's the red one. This is a really interesting red gloss because if you were to change, oh, and this is the orange. The orange one is called Laundry List. So the one on top is the orange and that's called Laundry List. The one on bottom, is hot and cold and it's really interesting because back to my thought it um it's a raspberry red 
So if you were to pair this with like a fuchsia or magenta lip liner, it would be a really beautiful magenta. If you were to pair it with a really pretty red, it would be a bright, like a bright reddish orange. And if you were to pair it with a deeper red, like a burgundy or even like half red, it would turn into a almost cool tone, really interesting deeper red shade. So. I kind of like this. I mean, I like when I can imagine the possibilities with a lip product. Some lip products, like if you get a really intense, like a bright fluorescent hot pink, I mean, it's going to be a pretty intense hot pink regardless of the lip liner that you use because it's so intense. But uh, let's see. And it's always nice to pair um, MAC lip glosses with a lipstick underneath because they tend to be a little sticky and if you have a nice base you don't feel the stickiness it's more forgiving hey oh do you guys like that i love it i think i'm going to keep this on for like my next seven videos that i film with the same outfit do you like it <gasps> Ooh. Well, that is it for my mac wash and dry haul I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Let's go over the things that I hauled. So basically I told you guys I got the brush, the nail polish, a couple lipsticks and blushes. If you were to say, Danny, which products are worth it? Which ones should I skip? Because I know a lot of times you guys get anxiety and I know it sounds so pathetic and ridiculous. Like, oh, you're getting anxiety over makeup, but you really do. You, you really get excited over something that you think you really want and you get nervous. And then when you don't get it, you get really disappointed and it kind of lingers in the back of your head. Like I still wonder why I never got whisper of guilt. If you're a makeup lover, you understand. So, okay. If you were to say which products of these are worth it, what should I get? You know, I, I really want something from the collection, but you know, what what's worth it to me I would skip the nail lacquers because the colors aren't very unique and I don't think that you'll be wearing a navy blue in the next couple of months anyway this one's really pretty I really really like it but isn't that so strange I'm like all matchy matchy I match my nail polish my necklace my sh everything matches I honest honestly honestly I didn't plan it this is really creepy it's gonna make me seem so geeky right like I'm such a geek. Anyway, so um, I would get this one if you're a fan of like turquoise and stuff, but is it very unique? Absolutely not. If you're a fan of brushes, like my friend Samantha is a total brush junkie. She values the quality of brushes. She goes out of her way to like hunt brushes down. If you don't have a split fiber brush, this might be your chance to try one because it comes with a really pretty ferrule. Um, I really like this one from the Alluring Aquatics collection. You could see the the fibers are already a little faded from how often I use it and wash it, so I really, really like it. Um, this one, I would even use this for blush because this is how much blush I put on. So I definitely like this brush. I don't know if it's worth the $50, but if you have those to spare and you want something from the collection that will last forever, if you take good care of it, I would say this. It doesn't go bad. You know what I mean? Like a lipstick will go bad. This won't. Um, what else? I got the two lip glosses and the two lipsticks. I wouldn't get all four colors of both. I wouldn't get all four lip glosses. I wouldn't get all four lipsticks. In fact, I would get one of each. If I had to go back and decide, I would probably get the one that I'm wearing right now, the red with the red. Um, is it a very unique red? Absolutely not. But I can always get the orange color. I'm scared to say more orange now. <laughs> If I were to get the orange color, I could get it any any time of the year because it's a permanent color. And orange lip gloss, you guys know how I feel about orange lip products. So it's definitely not anything unique. I really love the red though. This is a really beautiful summer red. So there's that. When it comes to blushes, I already gave you guys my mini rant on the peach one. The peach one, it kind of pissed me off a little bit because I got anxiety over the Archie's Girl. In fact, I have a backup of this blush because I loved it so much. And when I realized it was the same as Immortal Flower, which is my Holy Grail MAC blush, I got a little upset. And then when this one arrived, Crisp White, I got a little more upset. See, I'm so upset I'm dropping things. Um, so for the blushes, ugh, 
you could find that peach anywhere. But this pink one, I really like. It's almost like a hybrid between a pink and a coral. So it's a flattering blush on all skin tones. You could build it up for those of you that have medium to deep skin tones, and you can apply it with a light stipple motion or stippling brush if you have fair skin. It's pretty. I mean, I'm wearing a pink blush with red lips and it looks good. You know what I mean? A lot of times we get overwhelmed with red lipstick because you're like, what color blush should I use? That's confusing. So that's a good option. And then the last product was this one. I say skip it. Unless you're going to put it on a pedestal and just stare at it with the overspray on it. Like if that's what you want it for, you want to put it in a cabinet to look at and to have it as a collector's item, then get it because this is, this is, I think this is the first product I've ever seen from MAC like this. But if you actually want to use it, like I like to use my stuff. I like to get animal mode into my products and really put it on. Okay. So that is it for this haul. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. I will list all of the products in the description box below. Remember that today these products are released on Nordstrom and Macy's.com. So if you want to find them, there's your chance. Otherwise, you're going to have to wait a couple of days and go to a counter or a freestanding Mac store. Um, another thing you might want to do is check the description box regardless because it's a celebration week. And here at Coffee Break Headquarters, we love to celebrate. And we love to celebrate in the form of giving thanks. And we give thanks in the form of perhaps a present. So get your reading on, pandas, down there. You know what I'm saying? I love to do these guns. It makes me feel like I'm super cool. Anyway, <laughs> I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And as always, if you found this video useful, entertaining, or learned something, give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already and until next time this coffee break is over bye